This is the Speedlink Ludicium Gaming Keyboard. Okay, so a Speedlink keyboard. I've actually received a couple of comments uh, whenever I announced the press release that a few people were actually quite excited about this being released. So I got one. Uh, just to, to have a look and see what those few people were fussing about. This is the Ludicium Gaming Keyboard. Features easy installation, reliable technology for office use, and 10 multimedia keys. That's kind of what it looks like. But over here we have the other bits and pieces. Uh, it is a Windows 10 compatible, Windows 8 compatible, Windows 7, Vista. Easy installation, no drivers, 10 multimedia keyboards, full-size layout, height adjustable and a 1.2 meter USB cable. Very simple. Uh, direct access to essential functions. Easy installation, reliable technology, USB gaming keyboard, 10 additional hotkeys, hot full-size keyboard, all the stuff that we said at the top on the front. Uh, clear layout, three status LEDs, and ready to use straight out of the box. See, now one thing that concerns me is that this is incredibly light, this packaging. I actually questioned as to whether or not it was in here before I uh, had a look at the back to see that the seal was intact. So I'm, I'm dubious to see what kind of pl plastics this is built out of. As Speedlink are very price conscious in their products and this thing costs, well, it says £20 is the RRP, however you can pick it up for £15 from various different sources. And we get a bag of silica which we have to be careful of. So inside we get a gaming keyboard info guide. Um, there's obviously the 10 keys, just to spoil everything right from the start. Email, browse, home pages, my computer, calculator, um, which we all need shortcuts to, of course. Uh, mute, start, stop, music playback, previous track, next track, increase volume and decrease volume. Okay, so that kind of spoils the surprise. Right, the keyboard itself is incredibly light. It's very, very thin plastic. We have rubberized buttons down the side here. I guess that's important to some. They are rubber. Uh, that's your email, home, my computer, calculator, and mute buttons. And then we have the full 130-odd key layout with WSAD in red and your cursors in red as well. And a fairly large space bar too. And the, the the type is a bit odd looking. It they almost look like they're raised or embossed, but that's just uh, the sticker that's on the key. The keys are completely flat. I can feel the sticker, but uh, the, the font on there there's like a black outline around the sort of glossy white text colouring. So it, it looks like they might be raised, but they're not. Although, under the camera here, maybe they do look very flat. But to the eye, that, that looks like that B is just a wee bit embossed or whatever. Um, yeah, so... It's decent enough travel. It sounds... Sounds quite nice. When clicked or pressed. Very silent keyboard. And we have a British layout. We've got the pound sign there and the at sign there. And the inverted commas there, yep. Uh, so this is for Britain, not like some of the other keyboards that we've looked at recently, which have just been, you can buy them on Amazon, and they have an American layout, which is a bit of a pain in the derriere. Right, so uh, we have number lock, caps lock and scroll lock, LEDs, uh, under a bit of protective film. There we go, looks a lot nicer now. And then our media control buttons down the side, again, rubber. We have some stylish designs down here. I suppose that extra chunk is is kind of 
handy to have, useful. Up here we have nothing in the way of uh, reinforcement for the cable. It is merely just going straight into the, ca the unit itself. A very fine wire with a basic USB at the end of it with no, re no real reinforcement there. There's a wee bit, but uh, I suppose that's enough for the length of time you'll probably have this keyboard. And round the back we have feet, and that's about it, loads of screws. There's a rubber, ooh, nope, that's not rubber, that's just plastic. What is the point of that? That's just to lift the front of it. it it looks like it's zigzagged or crossed out for rubber, so it will slide if, if required. There's another little bit of plastic there, and then there's one on this side as well. But you can see that that's, that's not rubber, that is just plastic. So the keyboard travels. It travels very easily, which is a bit of a shame. Those rubber feet would have been, uh, well, I suppose they would have put up the price tag just a little bit, but. Uh, the keyboard does slide, which is going to annoy a few people. And what we'll do now is we'll go and plug it into the computer and see what colors we can get it to go. So hooking it up, uh, disappointingly, we can see that the only lights that actually change are the number lock, the caps lock, and the scroll lock. Nothing else glows on this. It is just a colorless keyboard. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you fancy. And other than that, take care.